Hello guys and welcome to episode 20 of the How to Make an RPG in Unity tutorial series. Now in today's episode what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our armor system as well as our equipping system so that we can move our armor into our equipping slots. Um, yeah, that's pretty exciting. So yeah, you can see here I have an armor prefab in my scene and it's right here in the prefab folder. I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can find this armor asset. Um, but yeah, with that said, let's get started. So I, in my opinion, we don't really need to shell the armor because this is a first person RPG. So really all we're going to be doing is just picking up the armor and when it's in your like hand, that's literally the only times you're going to be seeing it. So yeah. Um, so we don't really need this to like collide with like like to like be worn by our player and for our player to actually see that it's being worn. So um, yeah, so we can just ignore all of that stuff. Um, but if you guys want to like learn how you can um, basically like have like an like a third person RPG, um, yeah, there's some other pretty good tutorials on YouTube. But I'm not gonna be going over that today. So yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna continue building on our uh, item pickup system as well as creating our um, equipping system. So now, where's this box splatter? Oh, there it is. Um, if I make this four by four by four or ten by ten by ten, and make this like up like ten, no, eight. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, and then we can drag like a rigid body in here, and then we're just going to have to create an uh, bot another cube. And this will be the trigger, so we can make this the same. Uh, let's make this like 20 by 20 by 20. And turn off the mesh collider and turn on is trigger. And then we, this will be obviously be the trigger for us to pick up the item. And then we can just say ground item. And we can go into our scripts and we can create a new object called basic chestplate. Now you might be wondering if we're only gonna have one at weapon at armor asset how are we going to you know um, make let the player differentiate between each item? So that's a good question and what we're gonna do to, is we're gonna create a new material. Obviously you guys, if you guys have your own assets like you guys can just use it. Um, but for me I'm just going to be like creating like pretty basic armor uh, because I don't have the assets again this project is supposed to be for free like thing that you can do for free and not have to spend any money on so yeah so we can come here and call this the materials folder and basically the basic armor will should or let's make it red or green or brown I feel like brown is a very basic color I just make this like so and yeah so we can just literally just drag it onto our armor painstakingly. Oh uh, god. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna select all of these and drag the material in. Okay, there we go. So yeah, if you guys want to decorate this, you guys can obviously like if you guys want to make this like look like a cool set of armor, you guys can obviously add like some green here or some red there. Um, but this is just gonna be the basic armor. So I'm just gonna call this leather armor. I know it doesn't look like leather because of like the prefab itself, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna go into our objects and we have let's call this leather chest plate. And yeah, so I'm gonna go into the object data script and I'm just gonna create something new. Alright, so now that the script is finally loaded, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be creating a string that will store the type of object this is. We can use an enum, but I, I don't feel like doing all the extra work, so we're just going to be doing using a string. So we're just going to call this public string item type. Um, and yeah, uh, for, that's pretty much it. Um, so for our object here, let's go in here. For our letter chest plate, what we can literally just say is the item type is armor. So. Actually, no, we're going to have to be more specific. We're going to have to say chest plate because you will, you'll, you'll see why in a second. Um, so yeah, so for the sprite, we can just go into our icons and we can drag this in. 
And for our prefab, we don't have that yet, but for our ground item, this is it. Come on, no? Okay, that sucks. Okay, uh, let's actually, you know what? We're gonna edit this and make it a prefab and then we'll try to drag it in. So we can call this like leather chest plate. I spelled chest plate wrong. Chest plate. And then pickup item will obviously just be this uh, inside of our objects. And then the parent is obviously this. And then we can go into our prefabs and make this a prefab. And we can call this, yeah, ladder armor. And then we're not going to delete this, but inside of our objects, we're going to drag our prefab that we just made into our ground item. And for our weapon prefab, we can literally just duplicate this, go inside of it. I don't know why this displays it as gray. That's strange. Okay, but we're just going to delete this. And also, we're gonna, we can call this leather uh, chest play uh, use item. And if we go in here, we should be able to. We should be deleting this as well as uh, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what why that was there. Okay, that was strange. Um. Yeah, I, did we delete this? No, we didn't. Why didn't we delete it? Yeah, okay, there we go. That's strange. Okay, um, and we're just gonna go to our player, and let's just drag out the game tag tab, and we're just gonna drag this in, and zero it out, and then we can move this in front, rotate it, and then like pretend like we're holding the armor. So we can move it to the right a bit because maybe our character is right-handed. And then I guess we can like hold it like this. I don't know if anybody actually holds armor like that, but let's just roll with it. <laughs> and then we can just override or no, we cannot. Um, I'm just gonna delete this prefab. Oh no, mm. God damn it. I dragged in the wrong thing, okay. This is it. Good thing I didn't override. So we can zero it out again. Move it here. And then rotate it. We don't want it to obstruct the, the or obscure the player's view, so I think this is okay. So we can just delete this. And then we can drag this in as its own prefab. And now the prefab will always be set to that, or the spawn position will always be set to that. And then over here, it sets the weapon prefab to be like so. Yeah, so now when we press play, should work. <laughs> you know, you know, whenever I say that, that it's probably not gonna work. But okay, yeah, so it didn't work. Why did it not work? It's pretty fun, I can kick it around like a football. Uh, why is this not working? So we can see here. Leather armor, yes. Wait, why is there no... What? Where's the cube? Where's the cube that made it leather armor? Are you kidding me? Did I delete, did I delete it? I deleted it. Okay. <laughs> I, okay, I guess. Okay, um... It wasn't supposed to happen. I don't, when did I delete it? Okay. <laughs> I'm just so confused. Um, let me just make this 15 by... It's okay, we'll, we'll just repeat that process really quickly. Um, and then we can just turn off the mesh collider, turn on is trigger and everything. Let's make this actually 25 by 25 by 25. Also, we'll be switching from the collider system to a raycast system later. Um, probably I'll do a, like a general bug fixing video soon, sooner or later. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> and we can just call this leather armor pickup item. It's going to be leather chest, not potato, leather chest plate. And the parent will be you. Cancel. Oh my god, 
this is so annoying. And then we can override the prefab and apply all of it. Great, so now we can press play. And now everything will work. There we go. I like how you can kick it around, that's pretty cool. And now I have some leather armor in my hands. It looks kind of weird, you guys can reposition it, I'm not going to bother. Yeah. Uh, why can't I switch? Why can I not scroll? Please let me scroll. I can't scroll for some reason. I also can't press B. That's interesting. But I can press escape. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I'm not getting an error, which is strange. And also, it's not updating like it should be. Um, also, you can see the saturate. What? This is so strange. Uh, also, I just deleted the bug. <laughs> we should probably fix that bug. Um, yeah, okay, so I can't scroll for some reason. I'm going to go into the script and I'm going to see why that is. Uh, so we can go into our player data and we can go into scroll wherever we're scrolling and I'm just going to make a print statement. So scroll. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. And now we can just press play. Okay, I still can't scroll here. I can't scroll when I'm not... What? This is so strange. Like, even if I don't pick up the armor, I'm trying to scroll, but I can't. Um, I, I don't... Okay, the, I don't know if this is a Unity bug, or it's because something's wrong with the code. Because I'm very clearly scrolling, or maybe it's my mouse. I'm gonna try scrolling here. Nope. Um... Can I... No, please? I can click around just fine. But I can't scroll. Um, I feel like Unity's broken, so I'm going to close Unity and restart it. Okay, so I'm close Unity and I'm back in, but... It seems a problem still occurs. Um, so I'm going to go into my preferences and I'm going to go into uh, where was it I believe it was in or no not not preferences uh, project setting I'm gonna go into input and I'm going to see if there was why is if any by the way if any other of you are getting this problem please tell me uh, must grow wheel yeah uh, right, exactly. Uh, I don't know what, what's wrong. Oh, maybe it's because of this. If manager dot inventory system dot active self. Wait, no, this doesn't make sense. What? Okay. Um, I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to see, instead of making a knot, I'm going to make it, if it is, um, and I'll see if there's a change. Or maybe player data isn't active? No, it is, exactly. So, I don't understand what the problem could be. So, wait, I can scroll now. What? That makes no sense. Okay. Uh, <laughs> And okay, I can still scroll here, and I can scroll. Okay, what? Okay, that aside, there's a bug where if I put this over another thing, that item gets destroyed. So that's not a cool bug. So we're gonna fix that. But first, we have to fix this scroll wheel. Um, and it's coming from this. But what? That makes no sense because the manager inventory system was never active in the first place. Um. Okay, so we got. If manager dot what is manager? Let's figure that out first. So manager is UI manager, and if we come here, we can see the UI manager. I mean, see inventory system is here, and it, it is never active. Um, 
and yet we're still able to scroll, which is very interesting. I am really confused. <laughs> Why? I can't tell if this is because I made a mistake or if Unity is mess just being dumb. Um, what? Yeah, I'm sorry guys that this is happening in this video, but I'm, if, I'm, you guys are probably getting it too, so I'm just going to try my best to fix it. Um, if manager the inventory system the active stuff, but that's not possible. Manager dot inventory system dot inventory system dot active cell. Um, you know what? Let's just remove this if statement because it's killing me. <laughs> okay, now we can rest assured that our scroll wheel will actually work. We can delete these two print statements. That was really confusing. And first of all, we're just going to fix that game breaking bug where if we put up an item on top of another item, we'll destroy it. So let me just make sure that, yeah, okay, yeah, the scroll wheel works. Wait, let me just replicate that problem again. Potato pick up, yep. Okay, so if I put this here, I can do that. Oh, okay. I guess if I. Okay, yeah, so it won't auto update. So that's also a thing we have to fix. But yeah, if you can see here, if I just put the armor on the potato, the potato is now gone. So we're going to go into. Uh, did we do this in player data? I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, drag item. Is drag is equal to false, is equal to data. Okay, so we're just gonna say over here um, if uh, inventory slots dot index num dot game object dot get component slots dot obj data is equal to null. Also, we need two equal signs, not one. Otherwise, nothing's going to happen. We can try to click on it, but nothing's going to happen. Uh, in the future, we can, we might make it so that the two items will swap indexes, but um, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to make the equip equipping system work. So, all right. Why? Okay, so it's still persistent. Um, all right. I forgot how the inventory worked to be honest. If passing OBJ is not equal to null. Um, right. Right. Okay, so we're drag this is for dragging. And this is replacing. Um inventory slots dot index. Wait, uh, if not is inventory, and we're sending it to data. Uh, let's try to put an if statement. I honestly, to be honest, <laughs> I forgot how the inventory system worked. I should probably watch some of my older videos. Um, but I presume that this is how we should work. Um, this should fit. Uh, typing that there should should have fixed it. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we're just checking if there's an item there, and if there is, then we're not going to enable the swap. But in this case, you can see it obviously fails. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm just going to add some print statements. Uh... Oh wait, no way. I don't think. Okay, I think. Okay, I think I have the wrong script. <laughs> Is this, yeah, uh, no, 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 I don't have the wrong script. So yeah, it is in player data. Uh, so index num passing obj. Oh, right, right. Hmm, I see. Right. This should have been hotbar slots, not inventory slots. 
Now it will work. Now it will finally work. Um, so we picked this up. So if you don't, if you guys don't understand what did there, uh, basically there was a check there that made sure that we were actually in the hotbar, not the inventory. But now that I've made sure that check also fits, you can see I'm trying to click over, but I cannot replace the item. And this also works in the inventory. So yeah, now we can fix the equipping system. Where you can see if I try to equip, nothing's going to happen. So I guess this is going to be um, for our uh, chest plate, helmet, boots, and maybe like gloves and accessories. So yeah, um, let me go into the canvas. And where's the canvas? Um, inventory system. I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to go into equipping, items. So this is the first item. This should be the chest plate slot. Um, so we got slot. We got is inventory and everything. So we're go we're going to turn this off actually, and we're going to go in here. And um, hmm. so we might actually have to create like a completely new system. Or we can be lazy and yeah, you know what? Let's be lazy. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna create a new pool and I'm gonna call this is equipped. Um, is uh is equipment? I spelled equipment wrong. Nice. Is equipment is equal to false default. And then over here inside. Uh, this we're going to check this and you can see here inside of our player data we can see here say here and not is equipping not equip not uh god damn it what is this supposed to be uh <laughs> it's equipment oh wait no we because we passed the ball right but we're gonna have to pass another ball um, and then we can just say is equipment. Um, and else if not is inventory and is equipment. So that means we're trying to equip and put the item in an equipment slot. Else this happens. Um, so we can just pass in the is equipment pool now instead of nothing. And basically what we're just going to do is we're going to copy all of this, paste that in, and we're going to create a new array up here. Instead of hotbar, we're going to have equipment. Equipment. Bar. I guess it's not bar, so I guess it's say equipment tab. And over here, we're just going to type equipment tab dot blah 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 is equal to that and then yes all of this reload hotbar yes right oh whoops god damn it dang it uh okay we're going to have to copy this again um and then we have to rename this to equipment slots and then we can scroll down and then uh we can change this to be equipment slots and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, pretty sure, yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't really have to do anything anymore. Uh, actually, yeah, no. It's gonna do a double check, yep. Okay, so everything works. Basically, we're basically just checking like where we wanna move it. If we're, we are moving it to um, a slot that it has is equipment equipped. Also, we have some errors. Of course, we do. Oh, we forgot to save this, or I forgot to save it. You guys probably remember to save it because you guys are good game developers, unlike me. Uh, yeah. that, that is equipped. Oh, okay. So I guess. Um, we do have to create another pool. That's what, yeah, that's that's right. Okay, that's what I thought. So public pool is equipment is inventory. 
But right, so uh, if not is inventory, right, so we're gonna have to create some other checks here. And not is equipment is equipment. Um, then we're gonna do all that, but if it is not is inventory and not and is equipment then we're going to not do all of this well we are going to do all of this but in a different manner so we're going to instead of having hotbar we're obviously just going to do equipment tab um, and data reload hotbar I guess we don't really need to reload hotbar but I'm just going to yeah we don't need to um, hotbar slots instead of that we're having I don't know why I just did that Lots. No, the equipment. There we go. Um, temp trap, drag item. Yup, is inventory is is equipment is equaled to true. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we can come here and we can just type data dot is equipment. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so we just have to state that this is indeed um, a slot that is an equipment slot. So we're also going to have to duplicate this for every single one of these. So you can just copy this and then come down here and just paste it right in. And instead of zero, we're obviously going to type one and paste this in as well. I see you don't need to paste it in, it's just like one value change. Well, two, three technically. So yeah, we got all four, so four, three, two, one, zero. And inside of our player, we can scroll down and we can find, lock it first, obviously, so that we can't change tabs. And then we can close this hotbar and our equipment tab, there should be five items. And inside of our equipment slots, there should also be five items, except this time we're going to manually drag them in. Okay. And I'm just going to make sure that we did everything correctly because I, I haven't done this in a long time. So, yeah, everything's correct. So, yeah. Now we just pray that this actually works. And we didn't mess anything up. So we come in and we're just going to try to drag this in. Oh, already there's an error. Of course there is. We can't put it in. Right, why can't we put this in? Um, index non to get object data. So, okay, so the check obviously worked, otherwise we wouldn't be getting error that's leading us to this. Um, but I don't see why we are getting this error. I probably made a mistake. Um, so let's go to hotbar slots, let's see what we're missing. Oh, right. Hmm. I think I know. Uh, so if we go into our player again. Right, so this tab should be left open. Um, Right, so I, I'm, I, I put the other, yeah, exactly, so I don't understand why there's a problem here. Um, the game object, the get component slot, the object data is equal to data. What? Oh no, I <laughs> think, okay. I think, yeah. You know, no, this is right. This is right. Uh, I'm so confused. Um, <laughs> guys, bear with me, guys. I know, I know, it's, I know, it's weird that I don't know my own system, but um, yeah, this this shouldn't be happening. Um, hop our slots and everything. Yeah. So if you look here, um, hop our slots. Yeah, exactly. We're also using the inventory slots here, so I'm just confused as to why this is not working. So we drag this in, 
but it doesn't work. Actually, let's read what the error actually says. Uh, right. Okay, so we're getting the index number of the slot, and we're getting the component of slot, which is actually not in there, which I, I don't know, what? How, how can we get the slot if we're not... Okay, that's interesting. Never mind that. Okay, can I put it here? I can. Okay, so what's the difference between... Because if I look at this here, move into your slot, you want to just it's null. Alright, this is equal to data. Uh, so we're getting inventory slots here. Um, and inventory slots isn't actually different from our other slots because if you look at our inventory slots. Wait, no. Ah, <laughs> okay. Hmm. I think, okay, I, okay, I think, I think I see now. Uh, inventory slots. Alright, so the background slots is obviously the background slots, but the inventory slots themselves are... Wait, so why do we need twice the amount um, of the same thing? I'm so confused. So wait, so what's inventory? Uh, let me check. Right, oh right, so inventory holds the data, right. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys have to sit through this, but um, yeah, okay, so I see now, okay, um, so I guess we can just delete all of these um, and re-input them, so we can go into equipment, equipping, so we can just copy one, two, three, four, five, drag this right in, unequip, and now everything will work. Um, Right, and of course nothing shows up. Um, I think I understand why nothing shows up though, because um, we haven't actually made it so that it will display. Uh, so we have reload hotbox, reload inventory, right, which is what makes is supposed to make it display. I'm pretty sure the item actually got like displayed though. So, oops, I'm just gonna copy this function, and I'm gonna make this instead of reload inventory, I'm gonna make this reload equipment. And we can just change this to equipment tab dot length, uh, and then we can come here. Nope, not equip equipment slots dot length, and then we can just change this to be like so. Equipment tab, and yeah. Whoops. And one last reference that we have to change, and then. We can just try to come down here and we can, uh, where is it, where is reload equipment? Did I delete it? I deleted it. Okay, cool. And we can just paste reload equipment in there. Awesome. Um, I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to also add it here. Um, so yeah, so now, finally, <laughs> if we press play, um, everything will work. Tab inventory will get reloaded. Awesome. So now what we have to do is make sure. Also, why is there a potato that just gets instantiated there for no reason? Um, I'm s okay. And is equipment right? Right, um, then we'll instantiate the object. Um, right. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see why this will. This would. Okay, you want. When you place on the object. Okay, when you place on object, I think what's happening is that you're instantiating two of them. Or pick up the object, I should say. Um, so I'm just going to check the player die. So you can see like when, we, when I pick up, there's like a little sprite that appears on the right side of my screen. I'm going to check why that happens. So if I pick it up, you can see there's a sprite that's following my mouse, but there's also a sprite that's on right there. Um, 
So I'm going to go into the scene and see what that is about. So prefab pre 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 sprite clone. Um, right. And I'm cloning it from, I imagine, this. Um, but when I place it down, temp object should be equal to null and I should be destroying the temp drag object. But for some reason, I think it's instantiating two of them. So if I go into the game, you can see if I pick this up, currently there's four, but when I put, put it down, there's only three. Um, so that means it's getting instantiated twice. So I think the reason for this is because this check is not very solid. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to make sure this check is like airtight. Um, so if not, is an inter else if, there we go. It should be else if. One, it's, it's, it's a silly mistake, <laughs> but um, now it should work. Um, if I pick this up, there we go. Okay, so no problems now. Um, the only problem is if I put this here and I drag the potato over, I can also put the potato as my boots, which I don't want. I don't want potatoes to be my boots. So what we can do is we can come here and we can check if data is dot item type is equal to armor and if it is not then nothing's going to happen when we try to put a potato into our equipment uh equip, equip equipment section in the future we're going to have like chest plates so you can only put the chest plate in the chest plate slot yada 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 um, and all the other fun stuff um also this does not work. Uh, let me let me go in here and edit our item a bit more. Letter armor. There we go. There's a the chest plate. Okay. All right. <laughs> I guess we're being more specific now. Um, I guess what we can do is we can just say chest plate. Um, then we can. Um, your, let's just make the chest plate the only check for now. In the future, we're gonna like make every like different like item slot have like different checks. So like you can only put the chest plate in the chest plate slot, um, and everything that comes along with it. So chest plate, everything works. Um, but if I try to add a potato to the inventory, it will not work. I can click as much as I want, but it will not work. And what I'm go also going to do is. To fix the bug of display, I'm going to um, let's go over here. Where is our equip hotbar? Yeah, there we go. Equip hotbar. Um, I guess yeah, it's just equip hotbar. So in UI Manager, when we exit, we just want to do. Um, just always do data dot equip hotbar. God, I can't type today. I had so much coffee this morning. Like, <laughs> I I still have a headache right now. Um, but if I pick this up and try and move it, it's not going to be in my hand anymore. Now I pick this up, but I want to put the potato somewhere else, and I try to cheat, uh, or not try to cheat, but like try to switch it, then the right item will appear when I exit out. So yeah, one last bug I want to fix before I end off this video is the saturation, and it's really bugging me. So uh, I believe that's in player data. Um, let me go to find saturation. Oh my god, we have so much code. I just realized how much code we have. Uh, yeah, okay, so where does it say saturation? Okay, we're just gonna remove this. It's bugging me because, like, at the very start of the game, when you update the UI, like, it, that's what it automatically displays, and it, there's, like, just this chain whenever you open the UI and close it. So now there's not gonna be that bug anymore that you saw at the start of the game. But yeah, this is a pretty productive video. I learned, relearned how our inventory system worked, as well as we fixed some bugs and we made the armor system works work 
works work. Um, so yeah, um, in the next episode we're gonna make it so that you can only put chest plates in chest plate sections and only leggings and boots in the boot section and everything else. Um, and we're also gonna make it upgrade the stats and in the next next episode we're gonna actually make the stats do something in combat as well as try to make the combat more interesting by adding knockback and everything. So yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good day.